What is the first thing you do on your computer when you get to work? I bet I can guess. You check your email. In the month of February, we are helping you to change your view of email and screen readers starting today with Tech Tip Tuesday. Teaching your students how to navigate email with a screen reader is a big task. Now, in the month of February, that is our goal. In today's video, we are going to begin by showing you some things that you need to do before you even start navigating email with a screen reader. In addition, this Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Facebook group, we will be having a special episode of IT Live where we will be showing you how to compose email, reply to email, and of course it's live, so feel free to come with your questions. And each week in the month of February, we will be sending out how-to guides on everything email. That is reading emails, composing emails, organizing your inbox. And of course, this is only available for those who have signed up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails. It's completely free. If you haven't yet subscribed, click the link below. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about screen reader modes and why they are an important concept to understand if you're going to be using email apps on the internet. Now, in today's video, we will be specifically talking about Gmail, but this concept applies to any app on the internet. Disclaimer, if you're using Chromevox, this is not something you really have to worry about. This is mainly for our JAWS and NVDA users. So what exactly are the modes of a screen reader? Well, it gets a little complicated, but stick with me here. On the internet, there are two main types of key commands that you can use. The first are called HTML commands. These are commands you might have seen in our screen reader cheat sheets or on our basic internet navigation courses. Examples of these are quick keys, like moving to the next heading with H, or elements lists, like when you open that links list and it's a whole list of links, right? These are the foundational commands of the internet for screen readers. The second type of commands are app-specific commands. In the case of Gmail, these are commands that Google has written right into Gmail in order to make it more accessible with a screen reader. This month, we will be covering a lot of different Google-specific key commands. All right, so here's the important part. You ready? In order to switch between those two types of commands, you have to switch your screen reader's mode. Pretty much, you're telling your screen reader which set of key commands you're about to use. Are you going to use the HTML commands, or are you going to use the Google-specific commands? Now, screen readers like NVDA and JAWS are pretty smart, so a lot of times they do this for you. You'll hear them switching back and forth between modes. But if you're on an app like Gmail and a key command is not working for you, the problem might be that you are in the wrong mode and you have to switch over to that other mode. Now let me show you an example of how this actually works. Um, I'm going to be using a key command here. It's a Google specific key command that we're going to be learning next week. And if this is a command that when you do it, you're going to navigate email by email through that inbox. Um, and remember, it's a Google specific command. So let me try it. Row 3 Cody, finish setting up content info landmarks. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be reading email by email like it's supposed to. Well, let's try switching our modes, right? I'm using NVDA here. To switch modes in NVDA, it's the NVDA key and spacebar. Remember, NVDA key can be caps lock or insert, depending on how you set up NVDA. So I'm going to do NVDA space. And that sound means that I've switched over into another mode. Let's try that key command one more time. Unread, Cody Laplante, Monday's meeting. Yep, it looks like it's Start. reading email Unread. by email, doesn't it? Info to learn more about modes and see more examples of them, be sure to come to IT Live Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember, don't forget to sign up for their Screen Reader Tidbits emails. This Thursday, we have an email coming out talking about modes of NVDA. We're going to tell you that key command for switching modes in JAWS and some other steps that you need to do before you even tackle the first skill in email. Until next time, keep plugging away. And we'll see you on Wednesday for IT Live. Hey, if you like this video and want more content like it, use the link below to sign up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails. These emails come out every week and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the most basic screen reader skills.
If you want the latest Tech Tip Tuesday videos, you can join our Facebook group, AT for VI Professionals. The link is below. We'll see you there.